I was on active duty here with the Wisconsin National Guard. And I got a call on November 6, 2003 from our readiness NCO saying, hey, go get your will together, go get your affairs in order. We're gonna get mobilized this weekend. My tour of duty was December 2003 to February 2005. I don't think I was in Kuwait for more than about 10 days and we were on a helicopter heading north. So, I mean, there wasn't a lot of time to get acclimated and adjusted. All the stuff you're seeing on TV, it's all sudden, it's all real. I actually sat down and made a video for my kids. You know, didn't know whether I was coming back or not. We had a lot of stuff we didn't know about. You know, on average, three times a week, I was out on a combat patrol. We lost a lot of guys. It takes a, it takes a huge emotional toll. And I started shutting down as I was there. coming home out of a miserable experience. It took about a year after I got home that I realized that I wasn't the same person that left. I was going into work one morning and I saw the DAV's mobile service office sitting down at the dealership. Did a quick U-turn, sat down with those guys and uh, literally took me by the hand and uh, just said, well here, this is what you need to do. I, I can start to feel what will be normal moving forward starting to happen. Got a uh, beautiful wife Sarah and two awesome kids Evan and Kayla. You know, now I kind of get to get a chance to take the time, and watch them, and be around them when I miss that time when they were two and they were four. I'll never get that time back, but I'll be darned if I'm going to waste that time now. Take that next step, be strong, and go get the help that you need. If you know what that is, you know you've got the you've got the battle won.